obviously this is uh, once again we have on the screen uh, the title card of our project uh, with the name of it of the project um, the echo aware us for the future echo eu this is the title of our project and of course the partner countries are portugal poland romania and turkey um the program uh, erasmus plus is uh, funding the project and uh, this is a project uh, ka229 uh, school exchange partnership um, everybody now knows where we are on the map um, and i think we're sort of getting more acquainted with the names of our schools although i cannot still venture to pronounce the names of your schools i'm not going to do this um, you're doing a much better job than I do uh, as far as pronouncing the names of the project of, of the project part, uh, partners is concerned. Um, I think this will be one of the big tasks when we finally start traveling next um, next uh, school year that we will have to learn the names of our schools of the partner institutions. I think that uh, Poland has the longest name here. Our Polish school has the, uh, the longest name. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think that obviously because this project, project is all about uh, ecology, what we are going to do today is first of all, um, we will have this nice, I hope it will be a nice quiz that we will do uh, with all of you participating. Um, and we will play this kind of a nice game uh, between the partner countries where we will ask you to define a few words in English uh, connected with the project, um, well, with the project, I mean, with the ecology and uh, the ecological lifestyle. Um, and we will try to do these words and the other countries will try to guess. We will explain this in detail in just a moment. Uh, but first of all, um, I think what we need to do is some, um, this is the good moment just before the summer holiday to thank everyone for the hard work and effort. Um, and I think we should thank all the teachers and um, most of all, all the students who participated in this project from various countries. Uh, you've done a lot of great work and it was really, really, uh, it's been a pleasure to work with all of you. It was really nice. Uh, so I hope that we've learned a lot so far, that we are more ecological, all of us. Um, and I hope that in the future we will, um, in a way, be able to inspire others to be more ecological, not just ourselves, but um, our families and the people who are around us. So uh, I think that this is one of the biggest aims that this project has. Um, I hope that um, we have also made some nice friends between countries. Um, and um, this will be go on in the future because I think that next year, that next school year, we will finally travel and meet, meet each other in person. And this will be the best thing about the project where we will be actually working together as a team in person and not just online as those little windows on our computer screens or phone screens, whatever. Okay, so um, I hope that um, everyone enjoyed working on this uh, and enjoyed becoming more ecological. And just to check what, how it is going to, how this has worked so far, we've uh, decided to create a nice competition. And I will try to explain this competition to you now. Uh, it is going to be difficult, but I think it will be fun. We will create on Zoom breakout rooms, okay? So there will be one room for uh, Turkey, one room for Romania, one room for Portugal, one room for Poland. And we will ask you to go to those rooms. The teachers will help you. Um, and um, I think that we will have just enough teachers to go to, into those rooms to explain the task to you. The your teachers will give you a list of eight words, 
our expressions all connected with ecology. And then the game is going to be like this. You will have 10 minutes to prepare an explanation of five of those words. Not eight, but five. You can skip three of them. So choose from the eight words, you choose five. And you have to explain to the others what this word means without naming the word. Okay? So, for example, I will show you what, what I mean. This is a computer mouse, right? So I cannot use the word mouse, but I have to explain what it is. So I have to say it's an object which is usually used with the computer to point at different things on the screen, but I cannot use the word mouse, okay? So I'm not using the word mouse. The first person who guesses that on the chat writes mouse. Okay, it's going to be important to write it on the chat. You cannot shout it because we will not know who is shouting mouse at the moment. But if you write it on the chat, everyone will know. Please write on the chat to everybody, not just someone, okay? So um, you have to have this marking everyone. So I will now write the word mouse because I've guessed the word right. And everyone knows that it is me who guessed the word right. Okay, so I'm the first one. I scored the, po the first point for Poland. <laughs> okay, I'm cheating. No, because Andrew wrote it first. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay, really? I didn't notice. <laughs> so I didn't score a point for Poland. <laughs> Poor me. All right. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think everybody now knows uh, what to do. So I will now create the breakout rooms. Uh, you have to give me a second because we need to name them. Um, you can name with the country. Maybe. That is what I want to do, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first one. I think... Um, oh, I think you cannot see them until I finally have all of them ready. <laughs> all right, I've just created two new countries. Instead of Poland and Romania, we now have Roland and Pomania. So sorry about that, nice. I have to change that. Nice. All right, I think we can now open all the rooms. And you can now, can you see the open rooms? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now can you please go to the room of, which is named after your country, okay? And uh, we'll, we will be back in 10 minutes. Uh, I will close the room after okay. 10 minutes because I will go from one room to another and to see how you are, how you are doing, if you are ready. Okay, okay. Okay, and uh, okay. if needed, then you can explain the tasks, the coordinators can explain the tasks to everyone mm -hmm. in the rooms, right? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so can we please all leave the main room and go into the breakout rooms now? They are here. Everybody. Hello, Turkey is here then. <laughs> okay, we were waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we will see if this is going to work for us. <clears throat> um, and I think we also need to keep the score somehow. Mm -hmm. So I've just restarted the recording and I would kindly ask everyone to switch the cameras on. Come on, this is an international meeting and there are a lot of people with cameras switched off. This is not online learning, online school. We're <laughs> now doing an international meeting with our project partners. <laughs> so, um, okay. Um, I don't know who would like to go first, who would like to start first? 
You are the leader. Choose one. Um, I'm not the leader. Come on. No, for, for this meeting, who is presenting is the leader. <laughs> really? So, yes. Okay, I am in that case, I think what I will do is I will choose Portugal because they were the first ones out of the um, of the breakout rooms. So all of us will have to have a chat open. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, I think we can begin. So Portugal, can you present the first word and all of you can guess. And so when you're making are, a guess, mm -hmm. write it on the chat. Okay, we are going to start with Gabriel and Andre. Okay, so for our word, the description is, this is a container which you place organic waste into to create an organic material during a certain amount of time. The organic material is used to fertilize the soil. <laughs> wow. It's not a, it, it's not recycled bin. No. But of course, uh, Andra, you can make another guess. Yeah, of course. Anyone can guess uh, how many times they like. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Andre. Do you want to, to say something more about? Okay, Gabriel, can we ask you to repeat it, please, maybe? Mm -hmm. Because yes, we're sort of, of stuck with the recycle bin. <laughs> this is a container which you place organic waste into to create an organic material during a certain amount of time. That organic material is used to fertilize the soil. I think organic is very yeah. much the key word here. Yeah, compost bin. Compost. Turkey, yeah. turkey, yeah, yeah. Very good. So one point for Turkey. <laughs> okay, point. right. Yeah. One point for Turkey. Who loses in football will win in this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, who was the second country to come out of the from the breakout rooms? Poland. 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 Okay, so mm -hmm. Poland has to go next. Okay, Poland. Who would like to start with Poland? I haven't been in the uh, Poland. Ala, sorry. please, uh, can you start the first word? Okay. So, uh, animals or plants that can die and we must protect them. Hmm. Mike, I know, it's mouse. <laughs> no, it's not mouse, no. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to wrote that. Uh. Oh, Mariana Santos is the first. Oh. Yeah, well, no, I was the, no, I was the first one to write. Hmm? Um, sorry, oh, but yes, it was Andra. It was, it was Andra. Okay. Yes, yes, it was Andra actually. Mm -hmm. ah, it was Andra. Okay. And then? okay, so one point for Romania. Romania. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the third country out of oh. the breakout room was um... Romania. 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 <laughs> okay. I have to write this down. First was Portugal, then Poland, then we had uh, Romania, and then and Turkey. Turkey. Okay, so now we're we're in the game. So uh, the third country, so Romania, can you please give us your definition? <clears throat> was that the definition? George. <laughs> Uh, I should write it on the chat because my accent is not the best and some may not understand. Try, please. No, 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 no. Say it. We, we all please have try. funny accents. Come on. All of you are students. It's not a problem. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Something emitted by the sun that can be useful for us. Mm. Use your body language. Maybe you can dance. 
I think Turkey, it's city is from Turkey or? It was close. Yes. From a... Close to me. What? What country? So this from Turkey, but is Turkey. it the true answer? Is it solar en is energy? It solar energy? Don't go. No. 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 Okay. Can you repeat again, please? Slowly. That, that something emitted by okay, slowly. Something emitted by the sun that can be useful for us. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm just wondering whether we shouldn't give this point, actually. Uh, is that ultraviolet rays? Teacher. No. Um, I was thinking about solar energy. Maybe we should give a point for solar energy. Who said the word solar energy? Because it was the closest one. Yes, I think okay. the solar system, Turkey, no. Turkey. <laughs> Turkey. Turkey said the okay, so one point to Turkey. Because it was actually what? Solar radiation, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh, I radiation. think we should give a point for, uh, for, solar, uh, for yeah. solar energy. I mean, this was mm -hmm. very, very close. So one point goes to Turkey, right? Mm -hmm. Turkey. Okay, so Turkey now has two points, Romania one point, and Portugal and Poland Zero. nothing. Zero. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. now the right. fourth country is actually Turkey. So Turkey, can you give us your definition? Yeah, we can start with Sude. Sude, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Um, okay. Used paper, cardboard, etc. Recycle useless things. Uh, like make a pen holder by recycling a cardboard. Use chat box. Can you can you perhaps repeat it for everyone once once again? Yes, so the one more time, please. Use paper, cardboard, etc. Recycle useless things. Make um, like make a pen holder by recycling a cardboard. Copy the using materials. Well, so is um, any of these answers a good one? Mm -hmm. Not really, I think. It can't be recycling because she said recycling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to use the word. But what about the answer from Gabriel? Reusing materials. This can be. Isn't that an answer? No. So let's tell it again. One last time. Okay. Used paper, cardboard, etc. Recycle useless things. Like make a pen holder by recycling a cardboard. Mm. Do we have time for the answer? Well, I think or, we sh you should give us the answer now, and um, we will see if any of those answers can be can apply. Mm -hmm. So, Turkey, what is the answer? Um, it, the answer is repurpose. Repurpose. This is why I was thinking that rethinking uses might be a good idea, or reusing materials. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty close. Reusing materials. It was Gabriel. So Gabriel. 
Okay, so Portugal wins a point. All right. Congratulations. Okay, <laughs> now. Good. So that is repurpose, right? Okay, very good. So at the end of the first round, we have a situation with Turkey in the lead with two points and Romania and Portugal with one point. I'm not going to talk about Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Zero points for Poland, unfortunately. Okay, so what we will do now is we will start the second round and Portugal begins. Yeah, and we are going to Mariana, Jessica. Our world is a disappearance of a group of trees and plants. It is normally caused by humanity and it has many consequences. It has in carbon tax. Jessica, can you repeat because you frozen? Ah, okay. It is normally caused by humanity and has many consequences, such as an increase in the carbon tax. Yeah, Bahar is from Turkey. Yeah. Yes. Okay, one point to Turkey. Okay, so one point to Turkey. Turkey now has three points. <laughs> now right. I saw my flag also. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> <laughs> right now the second uh, the second definition comes from Poland in this round so Poland who is going to give the definition from Poland maybe Pavel can you read your definition uh, I can read uh, this is big many animals live there more like a zebra, elephants uh, sorry, Pavel. Pavel. We cannot hear anything. That, well, I mean, yeah. we can, but it's not. We have a it's cyborg. Something with connection. Something <laughs> yeah. wrong. Maybe I'll it's be the bad. Bad. <laughs> robot. Robot. Yeah. Pavel robot. the Terminator. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> no, no, not for now. No, no. I remember that Terminator. <laughs> yep. Okay, Pavel. Try again. Wait a second, please. Good job. Is something wrong with uh, with your voice? Uh, yeah. It maybe sounds like it sounds like. Okay, like, maybe we can actually move to the next person, and Papa will try to sort out his microphone. Okay, maybe Kaya. <clears throat> um, it is dangerous to the environment, animals, and for humans. I didn't hear it. Can you repeat, Kaya? Sure. Mm -hmm. It is dangerous to the en uh, environment, animals, and for humans. Everything is dangerous, huh? <laughs> Life. Especially us, human. Mm. The answer is human, I think. Okay, we have pollution twice. Air pollution. This is not the correct answer. It's close, but it's not the correct answer. Petroleum. That's an interesting oh, idea. It's petroleum. I have never guessed that. The, the answers are better than us. What an answer, yeah? Petroleum. Petroleum. Okay. Any other ideas? Like I said, pollution was very close. <laughs> mm. Okay, nice ideas. Mm -hmm. And she's good. Okay, Kaya, can you read the definition once again? Give us the definition one more time, please. It is dangerous to, to the environment, animals, and for humans. Mm -hmm. Dangerous for everybody, basically. That's the idea here. And Something maybe which is... uh, talk about it a little bit more, Kaya. Try. I I, I believe that you can. Uh, 
It's more likely a thing. I think you can also say that it can um, kill you. It can be like poison. Mm. Who uses it and when, when do they use? You can enlarge the subject maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nuclear waste, it's a, uh, it's a one of kind of them. I think that it's... Uh, uh, it could be. Yeah. It could but be. It's a one of... Uh, I can't... Nuclear waste is not... Uh, no, I mean, it is poison, yes. But, um, uh, you said... <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. It's no special uh, name, it's uh, more common. General. All of them. General term, ultra really, foil yes. waste, ultra foil trays, uh, plastic, carbon dioxide, all of them, all of the chemicals and gases are for us. Okay, I think we've got the right toxic answer. Toxic waste. It's toxic, toxic waste. waste. Romania, yes. yay. Uh, maybe not waste, it's toxic materials, but I think that it's uh, the, the, the clothes. The, the... Toxic, yes, was the most important okay, thing. So, yeah, we're so toxic. Romania, right? So, toxic, uh, waste. toxic waste was Romania, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Romania, so yeah, um, Romania. Romania gets a point mm -hmm. for toxic waste, okay. All right. <clears throat> thank you, Kaya. Yes, thank you, Kaya. And the third definition comes from comes from Romania. Okay, mm -hmm. Andrea, Romania, your turn. Andrea. So it is the total gas emission caused by an individual. Every mean of transportation, factory, in person has one. What is it? You can say a little slower because maybe they yeah, can. You are so quickly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, a bit slower and uh, one more time, please. Okay, it is a total gas emission caused by an individual. Every mean of transportation, factory, and person has one. Is that air pollution? No. Okay. Everyone and everything has one. Well, I hope not everyone has nuclear I, I waste. Haven't heard, <laughs> I haven't heard that. But this would be a terrible yeah. place to live in if everyone had their own nuclear waste. <laughs> <laughs> so excited! I think she confused the words. Um, okay. A I hard think one. I think it's um I think it was something um something dangerous, right? In general. Yes, COVID. Okay. <laughs> Andra, can you please read the, te the, the read it again, your definition? Okay, so it is the total gas emission caused gas by an emission, individual. Okay. The total mm -hmm. amount of gas emissions caused by a person or a factory or car, for example. Someone was close on the chat, but close, not exactly. Not quite. Yes, yes. not quite. That is a slightly different world. <laughs> I think maybe you can also say that if you, uh, if you, for example, fly by plane, you produce more than if you mm -hmm. just uh, drive by car, right? Am I fair in assuming that? It's something that is different for each object or person. Everyone, everything has one. It is different for everyone. Far. It's a way you measure something. It's the way you measure gas emissions. Right, Andra, very well said. Well put. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard word. Yep. But you described very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a hard work for the students, yes. Yeah. I think we may actually have a bit of an impasse here with this one. Yeah. 
Maybe she should write. I think we should just simply down. not allow and not uh, award any points for this. Yeah. Okay. So you're giving up. Okay. No. Yeah, we give up. <laughs> we are we are all a team. We are a project. So I'm going to help you a bit. So someone said smog. Smog is the product of what? This is the biggest process on earth. How is it called? One word oh. is already in the chat. One word is there, but it needs another. <laughs> Global warming. No. No? Nope. No. Not even close. Global warming is also a side effect of this process. So yeah. global warming is a side effect of this one. Come on, guys. Come on, you're close. It's easy. It's not carbon dioxide? No. Okay. It's it related to it. Yeah. It's... It has something to do with carbon. Greenhouse lights? No. Mm -hmm. Someone is going too far. It's a, it's a combination of words that also, we all know. We all hear on TV. It's all over in the newspapers. It's all over. So, ozone. ozone hole. Ozone layer? No. <laughs> we didn't choose the word. We received it. OK, so let's see. Andra, shall we give 12 points? 12 points yeah. to all the countries. Okay. Okay. So the word is carbon footprint. Ah. Uh -huh. It's all over the world, this word. Mm -hmm. Amprenta, uh, carbon footprint. Okay. I don't know. I'm just looking at the answers. Carbon footprint. Carbon footprint. It's a. Um, it's how many gases you uh, yeah. use when you produce something like food or like uh, when you travel somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's uh, how many gases you use. Yeah, it's the way you measure it. Mm -hmm. The phenomenon itself. Okay. So I don't think we can allow any points for this one. So zero points. But we've learned something. Mm -hmm. okay. But I fight. <laughs> so okay. now it's Turkey. Yes, yes, it's Turkey's turn. Our time again, and I think Nisa is ready. Nisa. Okay. okay. Contain all things with common properties. Hmm? Can you Containing repeat? all things with common properties. Oh, Can you say yeah. this again, please? One I don't understand the first words. Be found or slowly one by one. Okay. Containing all things with common properties. You mean containing? Containing oh. all things with common properties? Yeah. Oh. It is oh, biology term. Yeah. Okay. Can we expand on this a little bit? Mm -hmm. Can we say something more about it, please? Need someone to try to say more? Okay. Mm -hmm. If you, you could, you please. You can say something more. Containing all things with common properties. More? You, you don't have any more sentences? No? Containing all things with common purposes. Okay. I can think of something. I mean, it could be anything. Yeah. <laughs> this biology term. Bio it's, she says it's a biology term. It's a term in biology. Do you mean Nissan or like sorting out? Is it one word? Nisanur. I think she has. Nisanur, is it one word or two words? Oh. One. one word or two?
like species or biotype or universe? I think Nisa, it doesn't hear now. Where are you? Tanur is here, but she can't hear us, I think. That's Nisa, can you hear us? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, and then tell us it's one word or more than one word. I think yes. she, she tries to read the chat part. Hmm. Uh, Lungu George, space, yes, true. Uh, space. Oh, Romania space. again. Romania. Someone, someone said it first. No. Genotype? Is it? Is it? Genotype? No. Lungo. No, I was the first. Yes, someone wrote it first. It was sorry, Alba. Alexandra Sari Alba. Alexandra Sari Alba. Right. Yeah, this <coughs> prima. What what is the word? Environment. Oh. Or geno no, no, no. genotype. What, what is the word? Species is true one. Species. Nissan. Species. 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 Yes, yeah, oh. species. Lungo. And Lungu. Lungu yeah. George. Yeah, George. Who is mm -hmm. from? Where is it's from? from which Romania. Place? From Romania. Romania. Okay. One point to Romania. Okay, so this was the word species, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. So the point goes to Romania. Yep. And this is the end of the second round. And we have we a situation, have we have two leaders, yeah. Romania and Turkey, with mm -hmm. three points, Portugal with one point, Poland, Poland. with zero <laughs> points, not good. <laughs> so we are back to Portugal? Yes, we are back to Portugal. And Portugal already had a uh, compost bin, and what was the other word from Portugal that we had? Uh, deforestation. Ah, uh, deforestation, okay, mm -hmm. right. So now we can move on to the third word from Portugal. Yes, to Rafael as well. Okay. Uh, are bi biomes with abrasive productivity and variety of species on the planet? are located between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn in countries like Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. Can you repeat the first, the first words because okay. we didn't... Are biomes with the greatest productivity, productivity and variety of species on the planet are located between the tropics or Cancer and Capricorn in countries like Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. Well, we have um, some answers. Mm -hmm. Are any of them correct or close to correct? Close. The Amazon forest. Wow. Yeah, yeah Andra, rainforest. Okay, so a point to Romania. Yeah, because it's tropical rainforest, but I, I think we can, we can consider it correct. Okay, so tropical rainforest was the answer, right? Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, good. So tropical rainforest, point goes to Romania. Romania. Great. Um, the second uh, definition, sorry, no, the second uh, definition in this round is from Poland. So Poland, can you give us the definition? Alicia, please, the next word, next definition. 
Okay, so use again or more than once. One more time, please. But I think that this is the correct answer for Mariana Santos. Reusing. Okay, reusing, so one point to Portugal. Yeah. One point to Portugal, okay, for reusing. Okay, Portugal has now two points. Um, right, uh, so the next definition from Romania, please. Okay, so the next definition from Romania is going to be uh, read by Pred Andrei. Andrei, are you there? Yes. Okay, Andrei, please read the definition. So our energy is collected from renewable resources. Read it again, please. Read it again, please. Slowly this time. Is the energy was collected from renewable resources? I have trouble understanding the the word before the last one. So again, okay. Is Please read again. The energy who is collected from reno renewable resources okay well said okay bine bine andre foarte bine well done andre i think we have a winner we have a winner who gabriel congratulations gabriel congratulations gabriel. 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 congratulations okay andre thank you andre andrew <laughs> Renewable energy, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. So point goes to Portugal. Right. And we have the next definition from Turkey, please. Okay. Yes. Buse, it's your turn. And we are listening to you, Buse. Hmm. Okay. Um, global warming, etc. The name of the condition of animals in the streets and um, because of the events. Yeah. Can you please repeat that? Uh, okay. Uh, global warming, etc. The name of the condition of animals in the streets because of the events. I didn't understand anything. Uh, I didn't understand only the first part. <laughs> she said animals, numbers, something like that, decreasing. And slowly. I didn't understand. Can you please repeat it? Um, okay. okay. Global warming, etc. The name of the condition of animals in distress because of the events. So we're thinking about the animals, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand the last word. The last word is very important. The last word is very important. <coughs> I don't understand. It. Come on, Sude. Come on, come on, Sude. Yeah, oh, okay. Sude. Global warming, etc. The name of the condition of animals in distress because of the events. Events. Animals. Yeah. Oh, she said events. Oh. Oh, events. Yeah, Actually, I still don't this, know the word. It doesn't help you much. <laughs> I think what you should think be thinking about is the animals. What may happen to some animals? How do we call such animals? Decreasing. Yeah. 
about decreasing animal numbers. You can find it. I think Andra is close, but not exactly, right? Very close, but... Before that, I'll give you a clue, before that. Yes, these animals are still with us, but there, there aren't much. There is think, a foundation about... Uh, think Andre. about rhinoceros, for example. I think Andre gave yes, I true think, answer. Uh, yes. uh, no, Gabriel wrote before me. Yeah, I wrote before Andre. Yes, yeah. Gabriel, Gabriel Barbosa. <laughs> but I think this word was used before. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. Someone said in the English speeches Portugal. before. But um, when do you think it was used? Uh, I'm it was it. in the first round. First word. Uh, if you roll the shed, we, just after compost bin, you have endangered species. It was Andre, actually. But Romania... 5.57 p.m. <laughs> you can check. 6.57. Yes. Oh, yeah. We no, uh, it's you. a different time zone, so... Yeah, yeah. So that word was already used. Before. But does it count, though? But it wasn't used, I think. Because... It was. It was, it was. After composting. Okay, so we cannot allow this word then, right? Yeah, no. Uh, it's a repetition. Um, so... Um... I think Portugal should get the point. And you know why? Yeah, I think too. Because <laughs> we grow now, people wrote those words. So Portugal <laughs> should receive the point. So one point from Romania to Portugal. Thank you. We Thank are you. a team, we are yeah. a big project. <laughs> oh, generous coordinator country. <laughs> well, okay, I mean, if you want to give Portugal yes, a point. Mike we, we should say we because want to... if we stay a lot on this matter, we shall end this uh, conference at uh, 12 at midnight, I guess. Okay, do you want to make it shorter then? No, <laughs> let's make it longer. Okay, so does everyone agree on giving Portugal a point for this? Yes, 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 we yes. Agree. All right, so we're moving on to the third to the fourth round now. Yeah, so with the help of Ronaldo, we have to give all the points to Portugal. Of course. Of course. Uh, in this case, we have uh, we have Romania and Portugal in the lead with four points. Turkey yeah. in the um, well, I don't know if it's the second or second third place, place yeah. <laughs> in this case, um, with three points, and Poland with zero. Come on, people from Poland. <laughs> Polish Do people, something. please, one honor points. <laughs> Imagine so this is the last again. match that Polish team is going to play in the Euro 2020. Um, okay, so I think we can move on to the round four and yeah. we have Portugal again with the definition. Mm -hmm. Andrea? So I will start. It is a release of energy that causes a vibratory movement in different directions. A sudden violent movement of the Earth's surface, sometimes causing great damage. Yeah. Lungu, earthquake, yeah. Lungu is from where? Romania. Romania, okay, so Romania. one point to Romania. So one point to Romania, okay. Now uh, the second uh, definition from Poland. Uh, Pavel, try again your definition. Can you hear me now? Oh. Your microphone is still destroyed, I think. I changed my uh, microphone. I don't know. 
You changed your microphone. Yeah. Uh, but we cannot um, we cannot really understand you. You still sound like the Terminator. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe Alan. No, no, no. Nope. No, Alicia, please. Um, okay. So big dry place in Africa. Maybe something more. Very nice. Deserts. Is that one is that one correct? No. 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 Ala, maybe more, tell you uh, something more. What kind of animals may live there, Alicia? Uh, elephants, I think, and zebras. Savannah. Gabriel. Is that Savannah? Point, point for yes. Portugal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so a point for Portugal, right. Great. Okay, so that was the Savannah. Now, the th next definition is from Romania, please. Okay, sorry Alba, sorry, Alba, Alexandra, please read your definition, but listen to me first. Read it slowly and clear, okay? Thank you, start reading. Okay, so, is a container used to hold recycled bowls before they are taken to recycled, uh, recycling centers? Recycling. Is that recycling bin? Yes. One point to Portugal. Another one. <laughs> okay, thank you, Alexandra. So no, one no. more point for Portugal. Okay. Uh, we are late. And now Turkey, please. Next definition. Bahar, I think it's yours. Yeah, it's my turn. Okay, I'm starting. So um, this is a chemical, and we use these chemicals to kill insects like cockroaches or rats. Very good definition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cockroach is a very irritating name. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Me neither know. Okay, a repellent is a nice thing. Uh, poison, I think, is a little bit too strong a word. Mm -hmm. Bug spray and from Andra. Bug spray is also a bit too strong. Okay. I think something weaker than that and something which is, um, I think, norm kind of useful. <laughs> Toxin. <laughs> That's even stronger, I would say. <laughs> Diffuser, no. Not as strong. Don't be such killers, right? That's nice. It one. only kills insects. Peppermint. <laughs> good. Mentos. Fertilizers. Can you hear the voices? There is a wedding um, uh, ceremony outside. Uh-huh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Turkey with, um, the bride is taken from the group house with so many cars and oh. ornamented. Yeah, Bill guessed that. Yes. Yep, one point for Portugal. Best the side. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Best, okay. best. We are in front. Best, best the side. Insects, disaster. Okay. Congratulations. Now, I real. think that uh, we've um, finished the fourth round. So one last round. And this is going to be the last chance for the Polish team to win a point. A point for honor, right, Poland? <laughs> okay, Portugal. Can you give us the first definition, please? Yeah, Francisca and Beatrice. Okay, this is a, this is is the use uh, to provide mechanical power through kind turbines to turn electric generators for electrical power. 
the popular savage, savage slave? I, I, I think we can consider correct air based energy because it is wind energy. So it's 1.2 Romanian. So it was uh, wind energy, right? Yes, wind. wind. So air based energy. Good job. It's correct. Okay, so one point for Romania. Mm -hmm. Is it wind turbine or wind based energy? What was the answer? It's wind energy. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I think air based energy is yes. quite the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. So the next definition is from Poland, please. Um. I think, Alicia, you have the last one because the first, the, 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 the um, you know, you, you explain what Pavel could explain us. And now your definition, please. The last one. A natural fuel such as uh, coal or gas. Um, Alicia, we couldn't hear you. The sound dropped very suddenly. I don't know why. Um, I think we lost Alicia. Pavel should write it on the chat. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he deserves to make his voice heard in writing. At least in writing, okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Well, very badly. We could hear you perfectly earlier, but we cannot hear you now. So, can I write it in the chat? Like definition? Yes, write it on the chat, please. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can. Okay. Is it fossil fuel or oil? Um, it is actually fossil fuel, I think, right? But um, I'm just wondering because the first person who wrote anything about fossil. Um, who was the first person who wrote anything about fossil? It was, it was Sude. 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 It's me. Yeah, it was Sude. Sude, yes. Turkey. Yes. Okay, and then someone wrote fossil fuel, but that's also, Bahar is also from Turkey, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the point goes to Turkey. So that's no, no discussion here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one point to Turkey. That's, that, that's good. <laughs> All right, so a point goes to Turkey. And now um, we have the fifth definition from Romania. George, please read the second definition you have. George, use your beautiful voice. We all trust you and we love you. Okay, okay. So, aquatic, aquatic environments deep underwater that have a lot of dissolved salt. Again, please, and slowly, please. Okay. Aquatic environments deep underwater that have a lot of dissolved salt. Thank 
Actually, I couldn't hear him very well, but I so you want to hear again? I didn't understand the, the first words. Okay, George, please read again the definition, and I always tell you read it slowly, confident, and don't worry about your accent. Okay, it's nice. Okay, so aquatic environment deep underwater that have a lot of dissolved salt. I think the word environment was important there, right? And something to do with water, if I'm guessing yeah. correctly. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, something which is more like with living things. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Things which are alive. I think Gabriel is close enough. He's close he's enough close. with the first answer. Yeah, it's a point of Portugal, I guess. So it was a uh, ecosystem in, in, instead of species, ecosystem. but it's almost the same thing. So marine ecosystem, right? Yes. So a point marine, goes marine. to Portugal. Mm -hmm. Okay, good for uh, marine ecosystem. Okay. Now um, it is Turkey's turn. And I have to warn the Polish team that this is their last chance of scoring <laughs> a point. Don't worry, we will try together, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and for Turkey, Razie. Yes, Razie, your turn. Nuts, energy, uh, rain and snowfall. Uh, depletion of weather resources. Uh, no weather, no flower, no tree. Yeah, very good. Can you read it again, please? I'm sorry. Start again, Razia. Say it again. That's energy, rain, and snowfall. Depletion of weather resources. That's weather, no uh, flower, no tree. No rain, no water. Global warming. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Alicia. Yes, Rhodes. Alicia founded Alicia. Congratulations, yeah. Alicia. Poland? Poland? Alicia. Poland, yes, Poland. Oh, Poland. Yay. Brilliant. Yay. One point for Poland. Finally. <laughs> Alicia, you're the best. <laughs> One point for Poland. Finally. I want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I will give Alicia extra credit at school. <laughs> oh, one point. Brilliant. Okay, that's the end of our game today, ladies and gentlemen. And um, we have a winner. The winner is Portugal. Portugal. Congratulations. <laughs> Portugal scored five, yeah. six, seven, eight points for Portugal. Wow. Portugal went like a storm. In second position, we have uh, six, with six points, we have Romania. 
Uh, then in third place with four points, we have, th we have Turkey and with one point closing the game, that's Poland, okay? One point, but thank you very much, Alicia. That was wonderful, great game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a very nice competition. Um, it did turn out to be quite difficult. And um, yeah. I, think, um, I think that we didn't expect that it would be that difficult when we thought of this game for you. Mm -hmm. uh, it was supposed to be a short meeting, so I will try to finish off very quickly, as quickly as possible. Uh, but what I would like to tell everyone, and I think that maybe your coordinators already told you about this, we are planning a great competition for the summer. Okay, so for your holiday, you will have an extra special, wonderful task. We want you to take a beautiful photograph, or well, beautiful photographs in plural, of your country. Okay, but only of your country. If you go abroad, it doesn't count, okay? We're not interested in other countries. We're only interested in our own countries this time, okay? Well, unless you go to one of the project countries, okay? So if, let's say, someone from Romania goes to Turkey, they can take photos there, or to Poland, or to Portugal, but not any other countries. We're only interested in our countries, okay? So, Primarily your own countries, okay? So um, we're thinking about a situation where you're taking a beautiful photograph yourself, and then each country will select the best uh, three, am I right? Yes, three, three photographs, and we will produce a project calendar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure if I did this right with my maths, but I think that yes, I did. Three times four is 12 and we've got 12 months. So we want to produce a project calendar, but with the photographs that you've taken. Okay, so the best three photographs from each country will go into the calendar and we will have a nice calendar with um, which will show us uh, our par partner countries. So high quality digital photograph, okay? One that you have the copyright for, okay? So you're the owner of the copyright. Okay, good. So that is the competition. Um, and- uh, one, one thing, I don't know if you'll say that or not, um, the photographs has to be horizontal as well yeah. as- <laughs> Um, yes, it's very important. It's a very good point. I forgot about that. So we need to have it in the uh, landscape, sorry, <laughs> landscape orientation, no portrait, okay? Just landscape. Because this will be on a calendar, so um, we need it in this orientation. All right, so can you please keep that in mind? And it has to be high quality. Right? because otherwise we will not be able to reproduce such, uh, such photographs. If they are taken with bad quality, even if it's a beautiful photograph, we will not be able to use it and we want to use your work, right? Okay, so I think, um, I think that will be all that I want to say to, to you this, um, during this conference. Um, I would just think that maybe all of us would like to say at this moment that we want to wish everyone a great summer holiday yes so have a great summer holiday i mm -hmm. think i'm displaying this correctly now on the screen so have a great summer holiday um once again i would like to wish everyone to to stay in good health to enjoy the resting period of the whole of the summer holidays and let's hope that we can travel soon and let's hope that we can travel yes because this is something that we really all want to do we can travel and meet each other and work together on the project yeah. but as a team in one room and not in separate places with in front of, with our computers right i really wonder where should we meet first <laughs> Yeah, maybe Turkey. <laughs> yes, you can. I will be glad to welcome you here in my country. And all my team are ready. I think we will need to have a separate discussion about yes, this when we will want to meet. Um, okay, so um, is there anyone else who would like to say something? Yes. I'd like to say thank you to Benone for offering 
all of us this chance of having this project. I would like to say thank you to Mike, Phyllis, Celia, Agnieszka, and the other teachers involved, uh, Abdi, Ishik, uh, involved yes. in this project, okay? And to all the children, they made this program work. So happy holiday and stay safe, stay true, and uh, well, it, everything is going to be fine. Okay. Yes, may I take it now? I think I can. I want to thank to all teachers and all students um, having been giving so much effort during our meetings. And you were all great kids guys not kids they are not kids anymore they are guys okay <laughs> <laughs> excuse me you were all great and loves and kisses and big hugs from turkey to you all thank you for participating <laughs> great goodbye hey so um i think <laughs> that this yeah. is this will be all from us for today it's very well um, yes it was yes, really and, nice um, i think um, i think that we will start again the next school year we'll start again with an online conference because mm -hmm. we need to rearrange things again i guess mm -hmm. uh, but then i hope we will finally be moving a little bit more and traveling and meeting each other in person yeah okay Exactly. So have a great holiday, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for participating. Not just today, but throughout the whole school year. Whole school year, yes. Mm -hmm. It was all a great, it was a great pleasure great. to work with you. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Bye. Have a great okay. time. Have a nice Bye. Day. Bye. Bye. Have a nice Good day. Day. Bye. Bye. Good job. Bye. 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 See you.